Today, I want to show you something I'm pretty excited about. So that's one click RVT support. So basically, when you're working with RVT, so when you're starting a new landscape, you need to configure a couple of stuff. And even for experienced user, that could be a little bit difficult or error prone. But now you don't need to do those things anymore. You just need to click this button, just check. So basically, it will add all the RVT volumes and configure the landscape for RVT. And then all I had to do is just drag a static mesh into the landscape. You can see that clearly blending into my landscape. So I can show you again. So I can delete these RVT volumes. So these rocks are not blending anymore. But then I can click this add RVT support again. And it will automatically add all the RVT volumes and we are ready to go. Even though I mentioned this is just one click setup, there are a couple of little bit of things you need to configure. And let's see what are those things. All right, the first thing is you need to have virtual textures enabled on your project. You can check that by going to edit, project settings, and search for virtual textures. And then make sure you have this checkbox selected, enable virtual texture support. And then after you have done that, you need to restart your project. All right. And then you need to have open land in your project. So you need to use open land when you're creating a landscape. You can get open land for free if you're using for non-commercial product or you are just trying out. So check the description below on how you can get open land. Now you need the open land RVT editor widget. You can get this by going into the content directory, open land widgets. And we have the widget here, open land RVT widget. Right click on that and select the first menu, run editor utility widget. Then you have a window like this. Then simply drag that into a place you like and just hit the button it will add and automatically RVT volumes. Then it will automatically set bounds according to your landscape. Then from the landscape side, it will add virtual textures into your landscape and configure everything. Then you need to bring some static asset into your scene by simply dragging like this. But at first they don't work by default. The reason is this material doesn't know about RVT at all. So we need to configure that only once. So here's how to do that. Just select your rock from the world outline and go to the details panel and then uh, find the material double click on that here you have this material instance scroll to the bottom and this is the master material for the mega scan and double click that so now you have this master material then uh, right click and search for open LAN. and here we have a function called open LAN rvt blend with attributes just click that and you need to connect it like this. Then you need to click save. Now you can see it start to blend automatically. You don't have to do this process for each and every uh, mega scan asset you bring into the scene. Uh, usually you have to do that only once. And then you need to configure some blending options. So then you need to open the material instance. Then select this rock. Go to details panel and open the material. And scroll to the bottom. Now you have this open land section. So here we have the blending intensity. This is zero. You don't have any, any sort of blending. And this is one, all the blending is there. There are a couple of options you need to think about. The first thing is blend smoothness. So basically you can control how much of blend you're going for. Now you can see almost every part of the rock is, has this sand texture, but I, I can reduce that. And you can see now it only appeared on the bottom. So you can control like that. And the other thing is uh, normal sharpness. By default, we are trying to blend with the normals. Uh, so basic, basically with the angles of the rock. So you can control that by this slider in the normal sharpness. If you increase that, you can see trying to blend every everything in my rock, even this slope area, so which doesn't look nice. Then I can go back to default and uh, then it's starting to look nice. And you get the idea. You can fine tune that by using the normal contrast as well. And there are some other options you can try it out and uh, to get the, the blend you are looking for. All right, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.